What's going on YouTube? My name is Alex. This is Ass at Cheese Gaming. Welcome to another collection showcase. In this week's episode, you guys asked for it, so we're going to start off with the Super Nintendo. Not going through all my games at once, I just think the video would be too long, but we'll start off with some controllers. I like this nice little $5 generic controller that I got. I have more than this, but this is just a couple. I got a I believe this was actually a gift from the Retro Collective Discord that I'm a part of, which is the Retro Link. So if you guys know more about this, feel free to comment below, but I think you can use it as for uh, like emulation and stuff. But I got the box and everything, so I like to use this. Yeah, here it is, play on any PC or Mac for like when you're playing, you're trying to play Super Nintendo games. Well, the next time I need to play some, my SNES emulator on the computer, I will definitely have to hook this up. We'll set that off to the side. And then shout out to Play More Games. He sent me this one as part of a trade a while back. This is for playing Famicom games or for using in a Super Famicom. So there we go. Got 15 games to show you. Like I said, I'm gonna break this up. So to start off, we're gonna go A through F. So first one, game I featured over Halloween, Adam's Family. I have a ton of nostalgia for this game, even though I know it's absolutely awful. It's not really that it's awful, it's just it's really hard. I mean, there's not much mercy to this game. Next game that I got for my kids. Do I need to say more? Barbie Supermodel. I have had some people request this, so maybe one of these days I'll do a uh, Let's Play of it. A game, I don't think any needs needs any introduction. If you like beat em ups, you're gonna thoroughly enjoy this one. Batman Returns, a good Christmas theme game. Fantastic. 16-bit beat-em-up Batman action. Well worth playing and only having in your collection. Highly recommend that one. We'll keep moving right along here. Speaking of games that are well worth having in your collection, Tiny Toons Adventure Buster Bust Loose. An awesome platformer made by Konami. Good music, good hit detection, good controls. Can't go wrong with having this one. And surprisingly, this game still stayed really cheap. I mean, I got this one for seven. I don't even think this game's over $10 yet. I'm surprised by that, but hey, I guess whatever. Continuing right along, next is Championship Pool. Picked this one up a long while back, just because one, I like pool, and two, I saw it for three dollars, and I didn't want to spend too much when I was at the retro game store, so I said, eh, why not? It's not bad. Not, not a whole ton to it, not much more to be said about that one. So we got a couple more C games. Next one, I featured this game a bunch on the channel. One of my favorite 16-bit fighting games. Like I said before, I have a ton of nostalgia for this one. This is Clay Fighters Tournament Edition. There's also just Clay Fighters, both of which you can have in your collection. But again, I have a ton of nostalgia for this one. Even if it does, it have its flaws. Got one more game under C. This is gonna be A through F total. Cybernator. Highly recommend this one if you enjoy uh, side-scrolling shooters on the Super Nintendo. It's a tough game, but it is a lot of fun with this fantastic soundtrack. Hopefully you guys are able to hear the Cybernator music in the background of this video, and I'll get struck with a copyright claim, but if I do, oh well, I don't care. Now, on to D. These next three games actually can just go together. We got... Diddy Kong 3, Dixie's Double Trouble, Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Kong Quest, probably the best of the bunch in my opinion, and Donkey Kong Country, so 1, 2, and 3, I mean come on now, it's Donkey Kong Country, do I have to say more about these games, all well, well worth having, and I'm happy to have all three in the collection, once I got one, I was like alright, I eventually have to have all three, so here they all are. And again, I think this is the best one and the most, you know, noob friendly of the bunch. So that wraps it up really for D. I don't have any other games. I had Darius Twin, but I ended up trading that away in a trade to the Retro Collective. I could still play it on my multi-cart though if I want to play it. Next on to E, we have Earth Defense Force. A very tough but fun shooter. Space shoop, space shmup, shoot em up on the Super Nintendo, one that's overall I enjoy. It's challenging, but I think it's a lot of fun. Next one, 
If you've played this one, comment below and let me know what you guys think. This is called Equinox. Like I said before, I'm not really totally sure how to describe this one. I guess action adventure game with some platforming elements. It's it's definitely interesting. One of these days I should do a full review for it. And that's it for E. Now let's move on to F. We got three more games left to get into. We got F Zero. Yes, Game Shark, I have F Zero, and I would have to do you proud. Got to have this one. I mean, come on now. Any Super Nintendo without F Zero in it would just wouldn't feel complete. Speaking of beat 'em ups that I was talking about earlier, got to have Final Fight, right? I know that the Super Super Nintendo version isn't the greatest version, but still a very solid title. Fun beat 'em up, one that I think is enjoyable. And then the final game I got to show you today for this part, this will probably be part one. I think I'll break this up into three parts. This is Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. You'll notice that this is a special clear case. I had the regular case for it, but I actually gave it to someone just as a random gift of retro gaming kindness. I was like, well, you know what? I got two copies of this and I kind of like this clear case. So thank you again, Play More Games, for sending me this. He traded it to me. So I was like, you know what? Hey, since I got this now, which I've been playing, I will trade away my original copy. You can see the board there in the back. So that's it for A through F for my Super Nintendo collection. Stay tuned for part two coming soon, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Any glaring omissions that you see, comment below. Until next time.